Hey all, welcome to Shared Trek. This is Raj here. After looking at CASJV, CTX112 and CTX131, today I want to talk about CTX211. CTX211 is for type 1 diabetes and it has an interesting story and it's like an orphan that changed hands to finally find a loving forever family and this is good news for both investors and patients alike. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the disease, the size and cost of current treatment, the history of CTX211 and how it is a great asset in the pipeline of CRISPR therapeutics. Let's get started. Welcome back. Type 1 diabetes is a chronic uh, autoimmune disease. We'll call it T1D. It affects approximately 8.4 million people worldwide and presents a significant and growing healthcare challenge. The global type 1D market is valued at uh, US dollar 7.59 billion as of 2022, and it's projected to reach US dollar 13.64 billion by 2030, reflecting the increasing prevalence and the demand for innovative treatment solutions. CTX211 is a gene edited stem cell therapy and has emerged as a potential contender in the space, navigating a dynamic, dynamic path uh, marked by collaboration, innovation, and uh, strategic shifts. CTX211's journey began in 2018 with Viasite, a company pioneering the use of stem cells for type 1 diabetes treatment. Recognizing the potential of CRISPR Cas9 gene editing uh, technology, Wiresight partnered with CRISPR Therapeutics to develop two distinct approaches, CTX210 leveraging on CRISPR-Cas9 and CTX211 exploring alternative editing methods. Both therapies uh, aim to overcome the limitations of traditional insulin management, offering potential for long-lasting, potentially curative solutions for type 1 diabetes. Both therapies underwent rigorous preclinical development, demonstrating promise in animal models. This progress garnered scientific interest highlighting the potential for a paradigm shift in T1D treatment. 2022 brought a significant change. Vertex Pharmaceutical, a major player in the pharmaceutical industry, acquired Viasite, gaining access to both CTX210 and CTX211. However, Vertex possessed its own type 1 diabetes programs, which were VX880 and VX264 at various stages of development. In a recent strategic move to optimize its portfolio, Vertex opted to prioritize its internal pipeline, leading to the termination of CTX210 collaboration with CRISPR. This decision did not spell the end of CTX211. CRISPR uh, Therapeutics embraced the opportunity to continue its development independently, aiming to progress the therapy towards potentially registrational clinical trials. Meanwhile, the fate of CTX211 within Vertex remained unclear. Possibilities included its integration into existing programs under a different name or its discontinuation uh, due to strategic shifts. And in the end, uh, it so happened that um, uh, Vertex uh, moved away from CTX211 and CRISPR Therapeutics is now running with it. It's an advanced stage of clinical trials which are happening in Canada. Now let's look at the business justification for this therapy. Currently, the standard of care for type 1 diabetes involves multiple daily activities like blood sugar monitoring through finger pricks or continuous glucose monitors, insulin injections or using pumps or syringes, and lifestyle management including healthy eating and regular exercise. This approach helps manage symptoms but does not cure the disease. Despite advancements, complications like retinopathy, neuropathy, and uh, nephropathy can arise requiring additional medical interventions and potentially impacting the quality of life. Then if we look at the costs, living with type 1 diabetes is very expensive. In the US, the estimated lifetime medical cost per person with type 1 diabetes is $232,000 approximately, significantly higher than the average of $61,196 for individuals without the disease. This burden includes insulin, supplies, monitoring devices, uh, doctor visits, and potential complication management, and does not include lost opportunities from a professional perspective and uh, other aspects of life. Life expectancy for those with type 1 diabetes has improved, but disparities persist. While advancement in diagnosis and management have narrow narrowed the gap, individuals with type 1 diabetes still have a life expectancy of 7 to 10 years shorter than the general population. 
the presence of complications further reduces life expectancy. Continued research and advancements in treatments like CTX211 could further improve life expectancy and quality of life for those living with type 1 diabetes. Remember, these are averages and individual experiences can vary depending on factors like disease management, access to healthcare, and socioeconomic status of the patient. It's crucial to consult with healthcare professionals for personalized information and management strategies. Here is what I think uh, about CRISPR therapeutics. I think CRISPR therapeutics made the right decision to continue with CTX211. I look into this problem from two perspectives and both make perfect sense. Look at it from the perspective of a patient. A cure for type 1 diabetes would save lifetime expenses that could be as high as $250,000 and additionally save them the pain and discomfort of the condition and at the same time help open up personal and professional opportunities that they could not target before. On the other hand, CRISPR Therapeutics has been doing the hands-on work on CTX211 all the while and the product has advanced uh, into advanced clinical trials and is doing well. This means that the product cost has been subsidized uh, substantially by partners who have now backed out. This is a very fortunate and important point to bear in mind because with the need for cost-effective therapies from a patient perspective and the need for profits from an investor and innovation perspective, it would be easier for CRISPR therapeutics when it comes to pricing CTX211. A great price point can enhance uptake and bring economies of scales that may exist. And also if you look at the recent developments where the government has put a price control on insulin, uh, it's going to make uh, insulin manufacture not as profitable and there are many companies that would find alternate therapies to be more uh, profitable and may move out of the insulin manufacturing business. Uh, and along with this, the government, when it looks at the CTX211 uh, 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 therapy, it can see a loss, lasting uh, relief in terms of uh, once and done kind of therapy. So all of the uh, current uh, developments, whether it is the, the Inflation Reduction Act and the resulting $35 uh, insulin or uh, the uh, once and done uh, promise from CTX211, uh, everything works in favor of CRISPR therapeutics and uh, increased uptakes for CTX211. So with that, my friends, I would like to uh, end my analysis here. And I hope this gives you an evolving and comprehensive appreciation of CRISPR therapeutics. I'll be covering the other advanced pipeline candidates in CRISPR therapeutics as well in my subsequent uh, videos. And here is how you can help the channel. If you like my videos, please press like as it helps with the YouTube algorithms. Drop a comment, that helps too. If possible, please subscribe as it is absolutely free and will immensely help this channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.